Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to College Football Revamped. Uh, we're back here, um, and we got a new series for you guys. Now, I did rearrange all of the conferences because this is the my, my personal college experience, and, you know, obviously we all know the, the conferences in real life are changing rapidly, but uh, I tried to get rid of the Pac-12. You can't really do that, but... It, you know, I basically got rid of it. It's just got those four teams in it that you've seen there. Um, but th th listen, this is going to be a very fun series. I'm so excited for this. And I I haven't really shown love to college football on my channel ever, really. But about a year ago, I did a, a series on NCAA Next, a NCAA 06 uh, mod that kind of revamps it as well, right? And uh, I was the Louisville uh, Cardinals on, on that series, and I only ended up doing one season, and it was really fun, but because I, I lost the mod and, and I was going, you know, I kind of messed some things up. I never really put the effort in finishing it, but I've been dying to get back into college football. I don't feel like waiting until the next college game uh, that EA releases, which could... <sighs> I just found out it's going to be on the same engine, which, you know, that Madden 24 is on, which kind of has me a little worried. I think it's going to be fun nonetheless, but once the uh, the honeymoon phase wears off, I do think it's, it's going to, I don't know. It might not be as good as we're all hoping, but I'm not waiting for that to do a series. Um, we are going to run one now. I'm going to be the Louisville Cardinals again. I'm going to manage their roster, and uh, we're going to see what we can do. Now, this is the latest mod, I'm pretty sure, or the latest, you know, updated mod for college football revamp. So you can see, you know, we're going to have all of the uh, rosters. <clears throat> I think they may be a year behind, actually, but we're going to have all of the uniforms updated, uh, the scoreboard, everything that comes with the hall is going to be here. So this is going to be really fun, and uh, I'm excited, and I'm hoping I can take Louisville and actually give them a legitimate series here and uh, so we're going to be taking a look at the roster though moving over I'm just kind of red shirting we have Plummer at quarterback and outside of that I think we have one freshman on the roster I'm not sure who it is but we are going to need quarterback but the biggest thing is we have to address the offensive line this year we have multiple seniors almost in every offensive uh, position offensive line position uh, for defensive, uh, the defensive line, we should be good for a few years, but, you know, we want to address that. Uh, we have a, a solid freshman middle linebacker, and we don't even have a left outside linebacker on the roster, so we're going to have to figure that out. Now, moving over to the schedule, um, because we have a, you know, I have unique conferences in this franchise here or I said franchise, in this dynasty mode, you know, our schedule might differ from real life, of course, but we do have a, a couple, like I think three free games to play whoever is available, and uh, we'll be starting the year off against Pittsburgh here, but uh, I, am, I am so excited. Uh, these are the players that we're going to be looking at to add to the team, or at least trying to get, you know, these prospects to join Louisville here, so... Keep that in mind. If you see anybody that may stand out there that I should dump more time into, let me know. And for week one college football kickoffs, we didn't have a game, but Arch Manning did in the Texas uh, Longhorns, and they lost, actually. So they're going to start the year out 0-1. I just thought that was interesting. Uh, Arch Manning there didn't uh, play the best. Uh, it's Cook. It's not Arch Manning. This is Arch Manning. Arch Manning didn't play that good through an interception no touchdown pass and he's looking for his, still looking for his first touchdown pass but um anyways um let me know what you guys are you know think about louisville how we should kind of build them and um also let me know what you think about the conferences one thing i did want to know about the conferences is each conference except for the pac 12 which only has the four teams and then the independent teams which is just army and navy Every conference has two divisions or, or 
two conferences in it that play out. So I personally think that is awesome. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make my own custom. There is every league, college league slash college conference has two divisions in it that will ultimately play to try and make it to their conference championship game. And then, of course, you have the national championship, which maybe one day we can get Louisville into as there's the first ever play as we kick off the new year. Louisville versus Pittsburgh. You know you know, I was going to get you guys some gameplay here in episode one. Plummer, I'm not too sure you know, how good he's going to be, Jack Plummer here. Uh, he's definitely not mobile, as you can see there. But Jahar Jordan, I played with this guy a year ago in NCAA 06, NCAA Next. And he was very good. And he's going to be good for us in this series as well, except for Plummer. Oh, that was just a bad, bad decision right there. Throwing it, I mean, that man was covered by three Pittsburgh players. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be a running offense to start the year off. You know, chances are as Slavis finds Wayne wide open. And Jared Wayne gets in. We go down. But we're going to kind of just, this is how episodes are going to go. We're going to, you know, look at highlights and then cover the, the stats. Um, one thing I did want to note here for episode one, we're going to be working a lot of, uh, we're going to be working out a, a lot of the kinks, but like five minute quarters, I did not mean to do. So these are going to get boosted up. I didn't realize uh, my settings didn't like stay for the game length. So that will be fixed going into next episode, so don't worry about that. I do want to try and get somewhat realistic sliders. It doesn't have to be unique. Like, it doesn't have to be exact um, as Jahor Jordan there gets in for our first ever touchdown. But we do want more longer games than five minutes. That's not going to cut it. So, 10-7 to seven in the rain. You know, this is the kind of – it's a defensive game. That's okay. Pittsburgh is going to get in there, though, to end the third, take the lead back. It's a defensive game, but again, we're in the rain. You know, both offenses, it's week one. We're just trying to get back into the swing of things. That's fine. But then there's Jahar Jordan down the sideline. He's got no one in front of him. And yes, that's right. You know it. He's taken this one to the house. So we would take the lead right back. 17 to 14. What a opener. Later in the game. Five seconds left. Pittsburgh would drive down the field, set themselves up for a tie. Uh, if, if made, a tie, which it did, it did go in, <laughs> as you can see. And we're headed to college overtime. I, I love college overtime. And uh, it, I wish the NFL, the pros would do it. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually starting to lean into the college football more than I ever have in my life. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or, or what, but... I don't know. I, I'm starting to like it a lot. But uh, Louisville and Pittsburgh in overtime. Week one. No one there. Broken coverage. It's Kevin Coleman with his first on the year to go up right there. Louisville. Look at these clean unis. This is the whole reason I picked them back in NCAA 06 a year ago. I only ended up doing one season, but I want to do a lot more than that here. Later in the game, first and goal, Pittsburgh about five yards away. They need to get into tight to keep the game alive, but it's going to be intercepted in Louisville. A walk-off interception. Week one, we're 1-0, one oh, baby. That's how you start it in dominating fashion. And I didn't know, but Pittsburgh is a nine-time national championship winner. I did, I did not know that. I just read it in the back of the end zone there. That's insane. 146 all-purpose yards for Jordan. He's definitely the player of the game. Of course he is. And uh, don't worry, guys. We will be increasing the quarter length from five minutes. So, week one, 24 to 17. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the style, the format. We're not going to be watching every single play. Um, this is going to be a rebuild, but we're going to be watching highlights like this right here every single week. I, I want to, you know, cover the games, but I also want to get through the years, you know. A little quicker than watching full-on games so you can expect these episodes to be about 10 to 15 minutes long where we watch the highlights and then we really just go over the stats and performances of the players and then we also go over what's happening around the league and then you know we'll end the episode 
and uh, continue on each week like that. And uh, of course, we'll cover the bowl games if we have any. Hopefully we do. But we're off to a good start. And we're going to end this episode with the top 25 here. I'll leave you with it. For me, that's going to be it. Let me know, guys, what you think. Are you excited for the new college football game that's going to be coming out this summer? And uh, do you play college football revamped? If you do, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.